Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we will get a bit nerdy. Have you ever wondered what this is? This thing on the back of the module? Maybe you actually own a few modules that use this. Take a look at the back. It's the Electrosmith Daisy Seeds and it's a microcomputer or you can also say it's a microcontroller. If you see this on your module, the module usually isn't analog. All the magic happens in here. If you're a programmer, this is very cool because you can program your own modules. I often compare it with CGI, computer generated imagery for movies. It's not the real deal, it's not analog, but it opens up a lot of possibilities you just can't do with strictly analog modules. DAISY is an embedded platform for music. You can easily connect the DAISY seed via USB to your computer. It understands a lot of languages, including C++, Arduino and Max MSP Gen. It supports stereo audio up to 96 kHz 24-bit. There are 31 GPIOs, which means general purpose input and output, 12 ADC inputs, 16-bit, so analog to digital converters, and two DAC or DAC outputs, 12-bit. These are the digital to analog converters. So in a digital module, when we come with an analog waveform or other analog audio source to the audio in of the module, the signal gets converted from analog to digital. Then the microcomputer does whatever he has been programmed for and then the signal gets converted back from digital to analog. This would then be the audio out of the module. Now some technical specs. The DAISY Seeds comes with an ARM Cortex M7 MCU running at 480 MHz. 64 MB of SD RAM for up to 10 minute long audio buffers. 8 MB external flash and an SD card interface. Pulse width modulation outputs and various serial protocols for external devices. And a dedicated VIN pin for external power, which probably stands for voltage input. If you're a programmer and you're interested in such a microcontroller, Electrosmith offers a lot of documentation and resources so you may want to check out their website. It's available in versions with 1 MB and 65 MB of memory, either as a DIY kit or completely soldered. At the time I created this video, prices were going from $22 to $32. A little disclaimer, I am not sponsored by Electrosmith whatsoever. They don't know I am doing this video. I was just curious as I saw the daisy seed on the back of a lot of modules that I have. So I started to do some research on what it exactly is. And I thought, hey, maybe this is also interesting for you guys. But if you are someone that says, I don't care what my module has, it just needs to work and fulfill its purpose. That is totally okay. Now I am not a programmer at all. But if you are, and you maybe want to create your own module, the Daisy Seed could be a good starting point. This said, that was it for today's video. If you enjoy watching and want to support my little channel, you will make me more than happy if you leave a like and become a subscriber. So long, have a great day, evening or night, and see you next time on the 